Hello, Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, this is G uh, Dark Side Geo Battle, as you can tell by the ships. Sorry, he scratches his head as soon as he starts. So, um, the beginning of this is confusion because I put out a, a Phase 3 video a while back and realised it was Phase 2 whilst watching this one because we can't change. We have to run with the three Geos to start. But I do have those two separatists. So I have the Hyena Bomber and the uh, the Vulture Droid. So they take the first two spots as they are separatist. Um, and then we swing up to the top. Oh no, we stay down south. And we go Sith. Uh, so I'm trying to play it safe. Sith Bomber and then Emperor Shuttle and hope that... Those two can keep two Geos alive long enough because there's not really... Well, actually, no. Uh, Emperor's Shuttle, Emperor's Uber, whatever we want to call it, it isn't too shoddy. Um, but they're there. I'm you know, not knowing what I'm going to face here. Uh, but all things considered, it starts off rather well. Boom. Fives is gone. And with ability blocked... The other two, but now we're dazed. So we've lost the uh, one of the biggest assets that the Geos have, which is the fact that they all shoot each other's targets or assist, I suppose, could be another way of terming that. So we bring in the bomber. Um, suddenly remember that the bomber is not limited to just tanks. So we bomb the crap out of Plo because we don't want Plo giving them all the magic fairy dust that seems to keep the buggers alive and greeny greeno for uh, extended time. Uh, well, not extended time. Normally just enough time for them to absolutely hand you your ships on, your, on a plate to you. So we've almost got him gone. Uh, deliberate and think, no, I want him gone. I prefer four ships against two, no matter what state my ships are in. And uh, look at that. We're almost on to... I, I don't mess about. Take it. Get it gone. And now we've got a reinforcement. In comes the reinforcement, Geo Soldier. And... Oh, no, it's not. It's the Vulture Droid. My bad. Boom. Done. Um... Screenshot should have been before that, but happy, happy days. Yes. So we're going to switch over and go to the Chimera one. Um, I tweak with this fleet ever so slightly, as in uh, I change one ship in the starting lineup and you're not going to guess. Actually, you will because it will probably be in the title. So earlier today, I uh, Gear 13, I think he's Relic 3, um, I have got a video, actually I should have tagged it onto this, but never mind, I didn't. Um, my first order, Special Forces TIE Fighter, and um, my crew is Relic 5 as well, and um, if you've watched any of my recent GOTB runs where I'm featuring Mr. Red, one of my favourite tunes at the moment, he does not act... He's nothing to do with this whatsoever, only as far as um, the impetus to work on my first order. So, here we go. And um, I decide for the double barrel. Yeah, call the assist, stun the ship. All right, stun on the second go. No. Oh. So, we'll get the taunt up on fives. Or... Oh. The, the breach. No, he won't. Because the buggers are tenacious through the bloody roof. We're not getting anything. We've got one debuff that's landed so far. Another go. No, no stun. So, AOE. Now, can we get somewhere? So, we've got five's protection down for the moment. In comes uh, Clone Sarge. So, we can't no point in getting rid of that taunt dispelling that taunt because it's coming straight back because he's got protection he taunts until his protection is gone unless plows in the scene and then plow can give it to him oh and he can also call it up as well um so i deliberated there for a while and opted for um xanadu blood because that gives me a breach yippee kai a 
boom oh, what a hit that might be the screenshot actually i might go back and find that what a hit to get started on there so we've got breach up which means now we've got perma taunt from our hound's tooth hound's tooth is the star no matter what because it, it allows for all the uh the flyby nights all the glory boys in the uh the paper tissue space <laughs> fighter ships to actually win the war but we couldn't do it without that tank so homage to uh, bounty hunters who let's face it two years ago maybe yeah two years i don't know how long we had bosk for um before boss came along bounty hunters were kind of like a well were boba fett and no, actually that's not quite fair but they weren't as necess necessary. You have to have them now for the ships. Because the ships are, well, two of the ships. Anyway, are pretty damn awesome. Actually, no, three of the ships are. As long as you can keep Bobra alive. Oh, yeah, so here we go. We've now got three First Orders in here. Sorry, I was monologuing. Well, I'm always monologuing, aren't I? I'm going <laughs> yeah, sorry. Never mind. Right. Let's get this right. So, uh, focusing on the one with all the health initially, and then let's just try and get rid of... Oh, no, we're going to... Yeah, there we go. The AOE got rid of him. So, look, my starting lineup are all still here. So, uh, once again, thank you very much to Houndstooth for that. Big badder boom, big badder boom. 169 FTW. Thank you very much. So, yeah. Uh, phase three, both rounds, successful for once from me. I think that's about it. I oh, know I just go through and uh, deploy at the end. We're almost at three stars. Thank you for watching.